Hello dear students hope you all are good and doing great at your home Myself Diksha Rai this is your subject teacher of computer from LPM Public School situated in Kola Bazar Gorakhpur So dear students today I am going to explain your new chapter chapter number 4 from your computer book that is handling a mouse and touchpad what is the name of this chapter that is handling a mouse a touchpad and touchpad what is the name of this chapter that is handling a mouse and touchpad so dear student before is before starting this chapter first of all we will read about computer what is the importance of computer what is the uses of computer at the different places and what is the difference between computer and human so first of all student we will learn about computer as you know very well a computer is a smart machine a computer is a smart machine that accepts data input processes that data using programs output that process data as information as you know very well computers can be connected together to form networks a computer has two main components number first is hardware and number second is software computers are now a fact of life computers are now a fact of life so dear student do you know that who invented the computer english mathematician and inventor charles babbage invented the computer english mathematician and inventor charles babbage invented the computer so dear student as you know very well there are a lot of difference between computer and human like a computer can never get tired a human can get tired a computer work very fast but a human cannot work very fast as computer and you know very well a computer has stored a lot of information but a human can store a limited information so dear student as you know very well there are a lot of different uses computer at different places like schools offices banks airports and railway stations and all so dear student now we are going to read about mouse we are going to read about mouse as you know very well a mouse lets you point at any object on the monitor as you move the mouse the pointer on the monitor screen also moves a mouse is connected to the cpu so dear student do you know that what is the full form of cpu it's a central processing unit cpu box through a wire a mouse is connected to the cpu box through a wire nowadays wireless computer mouse is also available wireless computer mouse is also available mouse actions so dear student do you know that what is the mouse actions we will read about the mouse actions in your next topic firstly we are going to start your chapter first what will we do first we will first we will get to read so you can you have to pay attention to listen carefully that how can i pronounce this word correctly so let's begin your chapter name is handling a mouse and touchpad computer mouse we are going to read about a topic that is computer mouse a mouse has two buttons and a scroll wheel a mouse has two buttons and a scroll wheel we are we are reading about 
टॉपिक कंप्यूटर माउस अ माउस हैज टू बटन एंड अ स्क्रोल व्हील दे आर कॉल्ड लेफ्ट बटन एंड राइट बटन दे आर कॉल्ड लेफ्ट बटन एंड राइट बटन द स्क्रोल व्हील इज यूज टू मूव अ पेज अप एंड डाउन ऑन द मॉनिटर this is called scrolling this is called scrolling the mouse is also called a pointing device a mouse is also called a pointing device so dear student as you can see in your page on your page the picture of mouse is available in the left side it is left button and the right side it is right button and it is mouse it is mouse so dear student as you can see a mouse has two buttons and a scroll wheel they are called left button and right button the scroll wheel is used to move a page up and down on the monitor this is called scrolling the mouse is also called a pointing device now we are going to read about your next topic that is types of mouse what is the name of this topic that is types of mouse a mouse uses either a ball or light for the movement of the mouse pointer a mouse can be used for many things such as pointing an item selecting items playing games and drawing and coloring a mouse a mouse uses a, either a ball or light for the movement of the mouse pointer a mouse can you be used for many things such as pointing an item selecting items playing games and drawing and coloring so dear student we are going to read about ball mouse ball mouse this mouse uses a ball for the movement this mouse uses a ball for the movement of the mouse pointer the ball rubber or metal this ball is made from rubber or metal is present on its underside ball mouse uses a ball for the movement for the mouse pointer the ball rubber or metal is present on its underside so dear student we have read about ball mouse and types of mouse and computer mouse now we are going to read about optical mouse so dear student turn over the page and your next topic is optical mouse what is the name of this top topic optical mouse this mouse uses a, an led light for the movement of the mouse pointer of the mouse pointer this mouse on led light for the movement of mouse pointer so dear student now we are going to read about information box information box a pad on which a mouse is kept is called mouse pad a pad on which a mouse is kept is called mouse pad mouse actions your next topic is mouse actions so dear student now we are going to read about mouse actions so as you can see a mouse help us to perform the following actions a mouse can help us to perform the following actions number first is click number second double click number 3 right click number 4 drag and drop number 5 is scrolling 
select icon so dear student as you can see on your screen there are a lot of available icon now we are going to read about click now you are going to read about number first point number first that is click a mouse makes a click sound when its left button is pressed clicking selects an item or any option on the desk a mouse makes a click sound when its left button is pressed clicking selects an item or any option on the desktop so dear student try the click action try the click action bring the pointer on any icon on the desktop and click on it once so dear student from your chapter i explained you page number 1st number 1st and 2nd in your next video i will explain your next topic that is double click right click drag and drop scrolling so dear student i hope you will understand this chapter very well in your next video i will explain you the whole process of the whole process of mouse actions in the next video we will read about mouse actions so dear student now i am going to giving you a home assignment from your previous chapter chapter number 3 that is operating a computer the exercise of this chapter chapter number 3 operating a computer you will write the exercise of this chapter in your fair copy when the school open i will check your fair copy i hope you will be fine be careful take care have a good day